Hello and welcome to the Networking and Basics Mini Lecture series. This mini lecture is a summary of all Week 7 mini lectures. For further details and working examples, please refer to the appropriate mini lecture. Week 7 mini lecture series addressed uh, calculating the three address types and some very basic subnetting. The three address types that we find within the range of any or every network segment are the network, host, and broadcast address. Both the network and broadcast addresses are special addresses and they are never, never assigned to hosts. You calculate the network address by setting all host bits to zeros. The broadcast address is calculated by setting all host bits to 1. Host addresses, the addresses that we assign uh, to devices like servers, printers, routers, computers, laptops, smartphones, etc., they range between the your network plus 1 to the broadcast minus 1. Now, what is the maximum number of hosts in a network segment? The formula that you need to remember is 2 exponent h, where h represents the number of host bits, minus 2. Why minus 2? Because we remove the network ID and the broadcast address as they are not usable. And the result of that formula is the maximum number of hosts that can exist in that network segment. Remember that the network portion is identical for all addresses of the same network segment. Now let's look at a practical example. Let's assume a network of 192.168.15.0 slash 24. For the network that I've just circled, the network ID is 192.168.15.0 slash 24. The host address range is 192.168.15.1 to 192.168.15.254. Any device in this network must be assigned an address in this range. Any addresses assigned outside of this range is invalid and a computer would not be able to communicate. The broadcast address for this network is 192.168.15.255 meaning that if we wanted to send one message and have that message delivered to all the devices on the network we would address it to 192.168.15.255 and the number of hosts that can exist on this network is 254. Remember we cannot reuse host addresses. The host address is unique. Not Two devices cannot share the same host addresses. It will result in conflicts and uh, unpredictable results. Remember this is our router Remember that each each interface corresponds to a separate network segment. Say segment 1, segment 2. Can we assign addresses from segment 1 on segment 2? No, 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 no. Each segment is a unique network ID. So in 2, you need uh, to assign a separate network ID and you cannot assign addresses from other segments. Things just don't work. Now for subnetting. What is subnetting? Subnetting is creating multiple networks from a single address block. Subnetting was necessary as we were running out of address blocks that could be allocated to organizations. So with here is subnetting illustrated. As they say, a uh, pitcher paints a thousand words. So subnetting process illustrated. So subnetting, we always start with a base address and a base mask. 
our address has a base uh, subnet mask. So here we have a base uh, subnet mask of slash 24. Slash 24 means we have exactly 24 network bits and uh, 8 host bits. So N represents the network bits and H represents the number of host bits before subnet. Now let's go through the process of subnetting which consists in transforming host bits into network bits. So our base subnet is here. This is n equals 24. We've borrowed 4 bits so B is equals 4 and we have H equals 4 host bits left. So the result of subnetting we have B equals 4. Our variable B represents the number of borrowed bits N24. What is the new H? Here is a formula uh, that you should always remember. 32 bits, 32 bits. So the sum of your borrowed bits plus your your network bits from the original mask plus the number of new or, or the number of the host bits that are left must always always be equal to 32. So in this case uh, our host bits after subnetting will be 32 minus uh, B which is 4 plus n24 so 32 minus 28 is exactly 4 so we have 4 host bits after borrowing exactly 4 bits and this results in number of new networks so we've divided our big block into 2 to the b 2 to the b is 4 so we had exactly 16 new networks. And in each of these networks, we have 2 to the 4 minus 2. In each of these new address blocks, we can accommodate up to 14 devices or 14 IP addresses. Hope, hope this helps. Now here's a just some a quick and dirty slide summarizing the formulas and variables. Uh, H is the number of host bits after borrowing. B is the number of host bits transformed into network bits aka our borrowed bits. N number of network bits from our base mask. And remember that uh, the host bits plus and network bits plus B, the number of borrowed bits, always, always has to equal 32. Now the number of new networks resulting from the subnetting is 2 to the B, and the number of hosts per new network is 2 to the H minus 2. Hope this helped. If you need uh, further information, if you want to see examples, then just go back to the uh, uh, to the uh, mini lecture uh, or the appropriate mini lecture. See you soon.